Hi guys, this is the second project in my series Things You Can Make From An Old DVD Drive. In this episode tonight I'm not actually going to make anything as such. It's more a matter of just experimenting with the stepper motors. I've taken the DVD laser assembly apart, taken the two stepper motors out of it, and I'm just going to play around with them and see what we can do with them. I had a look at some of Thomas Kim's videos, and he does a nice simple one of stepping a stepper motor manually. So I've got two AA batteries here, which gives me 3 volts. I assume these probably run on five and a half volts or something like that. But all I'm going to do is just see if I can make them step. So I've put my own wires onto the motors just so I can put them into this breadboard easily. So if we start with this one So that's fairly simple. You can see it working. I think I can drive it backwards as well. Let's have a look. Okay, this one I'm not so successful with. I can't quite figure out the sequence for making it work. If you just watch this little bit of wire that I've wrapped around the axle there. It just moves a tiny bit. I really can't figure out a sequence that successfully drives it. Which is a sh shame. That would have been an interesting one to try to get going. Whether it's faulty or whether I just can't figure it out. I don't understand stepper motors. I know there's different types. These have both got four wires going to them, some of them have more. So uh, I don't claim to be an expert at all. But when I've looked about setting up drivers for these stepper motors, it all gets a bit complicated. Most people seem to use an Arduino computer or something like that to actually drive it. So I don't intend to go that far. I think just demonstrating that you can make them pulse around a little bit is good enough for me at the moment. So there you go, that's a very quick episode tonight. That's all I intend to do. I'll put some links to Thomas Kim's videos because they're much more informative.